Tiger, Beck here from Bell Makes and Men's. Today I'm working on some uh, underwear actually using a cotton lycra stretch knit. And I've had a few questions recently about using stretch knit and how to sew stretch fabrics on the sewing machine. So I thought I'd just give you a quick little video uh, guide of what I like to do. I'm going to spin the camera around now to the right so that you can see the uh, dials or the buttons on my machine. Let's just have a little look. So these are the stitches available on my machine. Now an ideal, pa uh, sorry, an ideal stitch for using on stretch and jersey materials is called a lightning bolt stitch. I don't have that on my machine. Probably the closest I have is this one called the feather stitch. But what I generally do when I'm stitching um, knits, if I'm not using my overlocker, is I use the plain zigzag. And I've fiddled around and I've worked out that for me, the ideal settings is stitch length number five and stitch width number three. Now your machine probably will be different to my machine, so you'll want to fiddle around, stitch with some scraps of fabric, ideally off cuts of the project you're working on, to work out what is the best length and width for you. So I will just see if I can get this to balance while I stitch. So my foot's down got the zigzag. I've lined it up on this instance it's the half inch seam. Now when you're working with the stretch fabric you want to make sure you don't stretch it as you go. So resist the urge, I know there's a temptation there, unless you're applying a band which is smaller than the piece and we might cover that in another video later on. But generally speaking you want this to go through smoothly and without stretching. I'm using the regular base on my machine but you may find it easier if you have one to use the extended base. Uh, and I'll show you that later on. So here we go, I'm just going to put my foot down on the machine now. Nice and slow. Uh, switching hands, because obviously I've got my right hand holding the phone to film this. So see how I'm using my left hand to guide the fabric through, I'm not stretching it, I'm just gently guiding it through, moving it along. Now I'm not going to backstitch, because for this particular piece I don't need to, but sometimes you will. Okay, so here is the seam that we just stitched, um, it occurs to me I probably could have used contrast fabric. Uh, contrast thread so that you could see the stitches a bit better but never mind we'll make do. So the reason that we use um, a zigzag stitch or another suitable stretch stitch is so that when you're wearing the garment and you stretch it the stitches move and have that bit of ease and give and recovery. If you use a straight stitch they will probably snap when you wear the garment. So as I say for me I like the zigzag and I like it to be particularly narrow which is the three and five I've found is a good length. Uh, it gives me a nice seam which is small enough to be similar to if I'd used a straight stitch. I could have made um, the stitches longer which would have given a, a sort of a longer stitch obviously which would have and I could have used a narrower uh, zigzag stitch size which would have given us something closer to a straight line. I have found through trial and error that this is a good setting for me and I don't tend to snap the stitches when I'm wearing something with a five and a three. A few more tips about when you're sewing uh, stretch fabric. Have a look at the manual that, you, that came with your um, machine and again this is assuming that you're using a sewing machine not an overlocker. Have a look at the page, it talks about your needle, thread and fabric chart. You can see this is from my Singer uh, and it will tell me down here, let me just zoom in if I can, it tells me about the fabrics I'm using, so these are the types of fabrics I'm going to choose from, what kind of thread, cotton, wrapped, polyester or polyester nylon. It tells me what needle I want, so the 2045 with the yellow shank. Now because I use a different brand, my shanks are actually got a blue and a sort of a pink stripe on them, but I make sure that I always choose a, a stretch needle uh, with a ball point. And the ball point is so that the 
needle when it goes down through the fabric sort of spreads the fibers of the fabric out of its way a bit like an awl does rather than just piercing through them and breaking them so it moves them gently side to side to create a space whereas the uh, regular needles kind of just jabs through and then the final is the size see at the top there it says size and it says these are your three choices so 1180 1490 and 16 100 I don't think I've ever used a 16 100 I tend to use the 1490 and the 1180 so just turning a few pages now in my manual I have this page I'm just going to move the camera so beware wobbly camera it's a quick reference guide and it tells me what stitches to use for what type of sewing so if we go down to zigzag, which is the one I like to use, shows me what it looks like, gives me an ideal length settings, width settings, and a range from which to choose. So make sure you have a look in your book the manual that came with your machine. If you don't have the manual, you can often now download copies from the internet, which is pretty cool. And if I can find it, mine also has nope, a page on, ah, where's it gone? Here we go, stretch stitches. So this section tells me all about the stretch stitches that are available on my machine, gives me tips on how to use them, what they look like, etc, etc. So basically what I'm saying is get to know your machine, have a little experiment, play around, see what works best for you and your sewing. Until next time, this has been Beck for Bell Makes and Men's.